Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. On this video, we're going to be showing you how to install uh, free antivirus protections from Avira. Now, Avira is a very good antivirus protection that I've used for many years, and I haven't had any really problems of it. It's just one of the pretty good ones that's pretty excellent to use. Um, you can pay for the full version if you want to once you do the installation and stuff like that, or if you want to download the pro uh, different versions. I think they have like the prime and then how like the internet security one the one that we're going to be doing is the viewer free security so let's go ahead and get started so first thing you do is pretty much just open up a browser i'm going to go ahead and just open up the microsoft edge you can use google chrome or whatever you have firefox brave it, it doesn't really matter and we're going to head over to the website called avira.com once this loads up you'll probably have to have this pop-up just go ahead and press agree and this is pretty much their website right here. Once you get to there, you're going to go to the selection where it says products and services, select it. And in these packages, you'll see the prime and the internet security. We're going to look for the Avira free security. Let's go ahead and select it. As we did notice on it, it does show that it is for Windows and also on a Mac. So if you do have a Mac computer, then you could probably download that version too. Regardless, we are here on the link. So let's go ahead and select download now. Depending on your browser, it might come up on the top or on the bottom. It also depends where it's downloaded at. Um, mine probably went to the folder of downloads folder. That's what it shows. Regardless, I'm going to go ahead and open that executable file. You would probably be prompted for this. If this does come up, go ahead and press yes. If you already have the UAC disabled, then you may not even get this pop-up right here. You'll probably just instantly get the application loading up. Okay, so pretty much the application has already loaded on the installation. So I'm going to go ahead and just exit the browser. I don't really need this anymore. And we're pretty much going to go ahead and continue. You can read these details right here. The end user license and terms and conditions and general privacy. It's up to you. But regardless, we're going to go ahead and press agree and install. It says take a break. You'll get a notification when the installation is done. Mine says estimating four to five minutes. It honestly might be a little bit less because I have a pretty fast computer. So, okay, it slid to the right down corner and the little app has already came up on the top. Let's go ahead and let it do its work and we'll see once it's done and see if this application loads up. All right, guys, it looks like it's almost done. I'm going to go ahead and let it do its work and we'll see once it's fully completed. Alrighty, so it says that Avira security is pretty much starting up. Um, it's pretty much in process. That means the installation might actually possibly be done. Oh yes, it disappeared. And here it is. It tells you to run a smart scan. So this is Avira free security. It tells us to remind me later or to do a smart scan. I'll also go ahead and do a smart scan and I'll probably skip through this. This is what you guys are probably going to see. It's doing a privacy issues right now and it's going to go into performance issues and viruses and outdated apps and network threats. Let's see what it does. This is honestly, this has just installed. I'm going to see how this application will work. While that is loading, I'm going to see if we can go ahead and select on different systems. So right now it's going on status. We can go to security. You can change different virus scans, protections, options, quarantines. That's pretty much of an application. Let's say if an app got considered as a virus. It does have ability to consider your firewall, software updaters. We probably know that. Protection options. Let's see what that is. So you can put real-time protections. You can put web protections. That means you would probably have to install... Um, like applications on the browser to put full protection shows. Ransomware, depending on these, you might have to pay for these subscriptions. I'm not fully sure on these. Because there's also privacy, you can set up the VPNs, file shredders, privacy settings, secure browser. There's probably a lot more things that are there. And there's performance. These are all additional stuff. I am not a big fan of installing lots of optimizers and battery savers and stuff like that. Honestly, it probably puts more into depth of more applications running in background. So right now, we're pretty much just seeing how this works by just keeping you protected than having to install all these 20,000 apps and stuff that are pretty much on there. So right now the status is pretty much on 38% right now. It's going to see if there's any viruses and outdated apps. It does show us right here that we currently have the mobile app that we want to get like that. And if you want to get Prime, that pretty much if you want to pretty much pay for that. It seems that you also have the ability to register yourself on here on the web. And I think we have settings beyond settings because well, we're, we're pretty much in the selections here of the systems and settings. But we're actually going to application settings because you want to change your language. You want the dark or the light version. You can see the difference. 
It tells you if there's updates, if you want them to be done all the time, you can send them every 12 hours. I don't really have too many options. 30 minutes to 12 hours is the max. It'll show logs of information. It tells if you want to scan recommended file types only, you can scan all the files. That probably scan all files might actually be useful. But it might vary depending on the time it might take. You can exclude folders that let's say if you have folders that you know what they are. Um, I'm not saying what they are, <laughs> but you want to exclude exclude them and then you get it or the files and you can pretty much get that too. And if you want to turn off the notifications and stuff like that when devices are connected. You have real time protections, web protections, threat protections these are all different types of systems that you can manage and exclude from the list. Same thing with these other ones too. I don't think you had access for web. I think that's different. You might need to have more permissions for that. Or pretty much more paid version, possibly. Software updater uh, of your firewall. If you want to turn that on, you already have Windows Firewall by default. And this is underneath privacy. Let's see if it tells us anything. Include email monitoring, um, stuff like that. I think we're pretty much good on this point. Um, it did finish the scan. It does say they have networks are safe, viruses are free. It says seven outdated apps, emails not monetized because I don't really have any email set up. 21 privacy settings to fix six browser cookies. Um, almost about a gig's worth of free cleanup space and registry entries and slow startup apps. So let's see if we can fix these issues and see if it needs other stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and press fix issues. And I did check everything. It tells us that we have outdated stuff to fix this risk. This honestly might have to be a subscription or something like that. So let's see, fix the rest. And this is where you would have to upgrade your plan. You do not have to upgrade this plan if you do not feel like doing this. This is just an option. It tells us if you want to run a trial, you can skip that. You can X that out. And I'll say not today. I'm pretty much fine now. I am protected for an antivirus protection on this computer. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any other questions and stuff like that, then go into more details or ask questions on it. Just go ahead and leave us a message. Or if you want to just search up more details about a viewer themselves. And that is pretty much it. Thanks everyone, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.